Everybody's talking at me I don't hear words they're saying Only the echoes of my mind People stop and stare at me This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. We're at the Only Fools and Horses convention here in Peterborough. With me, you might not recognise him. It's been a few years because I didn't recognise you. <laughs> ben Smith, who played Damien Troy. How are you, Ben? I'm good, mate. I'm good. How are yeah. you? Yeah, very well. Now, it was good. six characters, that I've, I believe, in all that actually played um, Damien. Yep. But everyone would remember you because you played the later years. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I'm sure, yeah, the last one, um, there was a few different ones beforehand, like the younger one and then the... Uh, Tessa, um, who plays Raquel, where her husband actually played a Damien, the older one, um, in the episode where he's going to take over the world in Rodney's staging. But yeah, um, great to be one of the six anyway, I know that. I mean, it's the first time you've been to this convention uh, this year? Uh, no, I've done, I did one about four years ago. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, this is, this, is a, this is one that I've done like more recently. But um, it's great to be here. It's, you know, it's just nice to see, um, especially after everything that happened with John as well, it's like, like a lot of people have been asking questions about, you know, um, how is everyone about it? And it was, it was, it's all been really sincere. And um, yeah, like the fans is still, it's still as busy as ever, if not busier, which is, which is great to say how, how old the show is and how long it's been going for. That the uh, the fan base is still as strong as it, as it was from the beginning. How, how similar do you think your character was to Del Boy? Because obviously, by the time Damon was born and of, of a certain age, he was obviously into all the mod cons and gangster rap and whatever. And boy, what Del Boy didn't have uh, back in the day. Yeah, no, I think I, I think Damien really is a um, a modern young Del Boy, maybe a, y a young Del Boy that we never actually saw um, from when the series started. But I mean, from all the references that we get from the show. Um, from when he was young, you know, he seemed like he was a real Jack the Lad. So I'd imagine that um, Damien just really is a kind of typical modern young version of him, kind of keeping up to date with like the modern rap and all that sort of that sort of culture. And obviously, your character is known for giving Rodney a lot of stick throughout the episodes, even when it was a young baby. Obviously, Rodney was terrified, so um, that must have been quite fun to uh, try and torment Uncle Rodney. Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, I had a really good laugh with Nick about everything and. Uh, there's actually a few moments that actually went out on air about, you know, when I was like nearly burst into laughter because um, the whole um, rehearsal process when we were making it, um, the last three special episodes was uh, was kind of the, the main significant part of the, the making the show and um, we had such a laugh doing it. And uh, yeah, uh, Nick was absolutely wonderful because uh, stepping into a show, any show as an actor, is daunting and, uh, and it's almost intimidating. Um, so to walk into something that's on this kind of platform, this level, with the recognition that everyone gets from a show, uh, it was it was terrifying, um, and especially being a fan of the show made it even more, you know, escalated it to that extra level. But uh, everyone was absolutely wonderful and made you know the relationships built on the time while we were rehearsing it together. Your dialects throughout like the episodes and that was it saying that you, you you'd implemented yourself like, oh, like some of the terms like the urban terms that maybe people that watched Only Fools and Horses years ago wouldn't know now, people on the street now wouldn't know what you were talking about, but yeah. where did that come from, yourself or? No, uh, everything was kind of sourced from John, uh, John Sullivan, the main writer of, um, of the series. And uh, you know, there was, a, there was an opportunity to play around with everything, but I think um, because the dialect was so kind of strong and so forward and so extreme, uh, it made everything a lot funnier. So it was kind of a John, someone who was naive to that sort of language kind of taking it to the full ex extent of uh, you know kind of make complete sense and worked out to be the funnier option anyway and just finally can you just uh, tell us what you've been up to recently obviously um, like all things we could be looking out for yeah Reece, um, there's a new drama out at a minute actually that's um, called Hunted on BBC that's uh, got Melissa George in it um, for HBO and BBC America um, it was written by Frank Spotnitz Spotnitz something like that he, uh, he wrote the X-Files um, and that's out at the minute and um it's done really well, kind of on reviews and viewings wise. So um, we're all sort of hoping it's going to go again, which, which would be fantastic. It's a really good gig. So uh, fingers crossed. All right, Ben. Listen, I'm going to take too much of your time. Thank you very much, John Wife from London, and look forward to a very long day for you. <laughs> yeah, not me, not I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. All right, nice one. Well, this is Coogan Cassis with Ben Smith here for Wife from London. Thank you very much. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear words they're saying Only the echoes of my mind People stop and stare at me